think it's lazy as well. No more bullets, I press F, hunt the prey. Let's just walk because we're lazy. I am Terminator. What's going on YouTube? It's me again, Jamesh, back again with another video. And today we're gonna be doing a fun lazy build guys. So this is mainly for a trickster out there who's bored on running expeditions using their meta builds. And you know there are days wherein you feel very tired, just like right now, I just finished work, jumped into my gaming computer and um you know, you don't want to go ham all the time. You just want to finish the expedition to get the armor piece or you just grind. So if you're the type of person, then this build is for you. Okay, let's take it to the build. Alright, so let's begin with the gun selection here. So we've selected Darkness Charmer as our main gun. Uh, the reason for this is I think... Uh, grand opening plus the high damage fits the persona of being lazy that's why it's called the lazy build because you're just gonna stand there shoot stand there shoot and just rinse and repeat um, and also we're gonna be using body snatcher that you can get from this gun so you can just um, decraft it and put it in here if you have darkness charmer so the grand opening works best if you have low hunt to prey cooldown so what we're gonna be doing is we'll be spamming hunt to prey by selecting all the movement class nodes as you can see movement class nodes and not only that we're gonna be using dance of death so it decreases the skills cooldown by 20 percent so that's a lot of cooldown for our movement skill and so we make it down to 3.9 so if you have if you so basically we're gonna pair it with um, this one instant reload it's a tier 3 mod that you can get from the cowl head I think and um, what it does is every time you do hunt the prey then you get your mag full and so it translates to proc procking off grand opening because every time you hit or shoot with the first bullet from the mag then it, it'll give you 260k damage on a 5 meter radius so that's actually good so the build runs around this 3 mod the grand opening the body snatcher and uh, actually 4 dance of death and and the instant reload the rest of the mod selection it's up to you guys how do you want to survive but for me i picked mitigation from death and life drain i think that's the um you know the the easiest way to survive when using this build because you have a high powered gun so every time you click it some someone will die and so you get your life to full again Right, so the rest of the build I'll show you anyway. It's stare into the barrel, so if you are surrounded by enemy, you'll get more firepower um, if they're in close range. I didn't pick uh, Twisted Fate because I don't want to like aim for their heads. I just want to point and shoot and finish the expedition because that's what we're, we're that's what we are aiming for. And um, Captain Hunter, it's essential to any build, AP or FP. Um, what else? Personal space, some raw damage there, buckshot shells to up our firepower when using shotgun. And um, you know that already. So sharp eye paired with bloodlust, then you get tons of firepower. Okay, I'm gonna show you the class notes. The class notes guys is very straightforward. I just picked all damage. That's it. It didn't pick the critical here. 
um, you know the reason already and we just picked all damage plus this one to boost our uh, deception which is the vendor's knife and uh, movement skill so every time you use movement you get 35% more damage every time you use deception you get 35% more damage so we'll be using vendor's knife if there's an elite to to proc double damage because every time you 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 cast vendor's knife the first damage you deal it's gonna be double damage okay so that's basically it I'll take you to the gameplay and if you guys haven't watched the videos that I uploaded like uh, several of them um, please do check them out they're actually pretty good it receive a lot of compliments a lot of love so if you like it as well please do thumbs it would really help me I'm kind of new to this YouTube creation thing and um, um, I thank you guys for for watching so I'll take you to the gameplay now Hey guys, um, just doing some solo here, just to demonstrate, showcase to you what this lazy build is all about. So this is it. You stand, you shoot. And if there's no more, you move on to the next lazy spot. can we be more I'll show you guys a trick to prolong your twisted round so if you haven't know this you can click and then see I'm just doing F or melee just to prolong the animation let's say you're waiting for your hunt to prey you can do that so you'll have unlimited ammo or unlimited just the drums okay we got a techno joining in a lot less lazy if you have two or three people in the party because their HP is twice as much No more. I'm not doing one hit anymore because of the party, but that's good. We can compare the DPS output. He's dead. I think it's lazy as well. No more bullets. I press F on the prey. I think this is best for solo because. See how the elites, they need like three bullets to kill them. Should be more than that. They're not squishy anymore. That's okay. Bunzer 1014. Are you lazy, bro? It's dead again. One more.
Let's just walk this really easy. I am Terminator. Where's my... Where's my lazy friend? What's up with this lazy purple? You're too lazy to see, man. <laughs> no, no, yeah. yeah. Hey guys, I'm back. Sorry about the There's a sealed gate leading to the monument. Lazy friend there. Okay, moving on to the lazy area. Oh. Oh, we got another uh soon joining in. Pyro. But where is he though? Need help here. If I play seriously, I won't die here. But we're lazy, remember? Their HP is uh, three times as much, so I don't think it's a lazy build anymore. Later on I'll show you guys the damage output that we can do on this build. It's actually quite good. It might be very slow but I mean the way it moves <laughs> we don't move, we just stationary but it deals a lot of damage. As you can see we got 2.6. And if we are spamming you see that? 4 million? For spa spamming Hunter Prey, that's a proper way to play this, but you know, we're just doing the lazy persona. We're not even running, we're just walk <laughs> walking. Okay, let's get some stack first. Double damage. <clears throat> so the good thing about grand opening is when you do Venator's knife um, and you hit them with your first shot, you'll get double double damage for both the grand opening mod plus the gun damage. It's quite good. Six 
million. But that was the pyro and the techno buff, I think. That's why we got like 6 million there. Gates open. Whoa. The pack sure knew how to impress. Wait for me, guys. I can run. I have a persona to keep. We'll just. One point four plus uh five hundred K up from there. Wait for the hunt to pray, see the damage. 5k. I don't have any stack, so... Teleporting. The hell, man, it's not teleporting. Also when you're using banner or snipe, it's best to roll after you click it and so it cancels the animation so you can shoot right away.
Alright, let's see the damage output, guys. And if this is the first time in my channel, please do check my other content. Um, especially if you're a Pyromancer. It did a, a very good gun build with Pyromancer. It received a lot of love and compliments, so if you haven't seen it, check them out. I'll just quickly show you the damage output, and then we we're gonna end this video. But yes, this is best to play in solo mode because um, they're not squishy if you're in a party, especially in a party of three. You'll enjoy it even more. We got 370 guys. 370 million. We got 38 from the grand opening and 326 from the twisted rounds. <laughs> Alright, that's it for today guys. Thank you so much for watching and uh, enjoy the rest of your days. Okay, have a good one. Bye-bye.